Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, we're gonna go and do our daily technical analysis of uranium. Uh, we'll, we'll bust through it here and I'll give you my financial opinion. Please don't use it as advice, but let's dive right in. We've got the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust. We were up today 2.26%. Uh, we are still playing with this downtrend line. We gotta break through this. That's what we're working on. Little, little hammer pattern here. Uh, usually when it's down like this, sometimes it can come back a little bit, but we'll see what tomorrow has in store for us. Uh, URNM, little down day today, but it was a small down day next to a large up day, so pretty normal. We're, we're still looking good. We're probably going to do some chopping sideways, and hopefully we do for a little while so I can buy some after the new year. Bannerman still chopping sideways. Little up day today, 1.47% is what I've got. So we're just we're just chopping sideways at the moment. It's getting it it's getting its anger out. Uh, little Banny. Here's little Govi. Uh, Govi's been moving on sideways. Looks like we've got a break to the upside potentially. If you just put in this kind of a, a a pattern like this. So I'm gonna take this guy out here. We're kind of just coming up in this pattern. It looks like we're popping to the upside. Hopefully, we can get some get some buyers in here. Global Atomics doing the same thing, closing up above its little downtrend line. Big buying pressure back here, so that looks good. May the forces be with you. Uh, forces is looking good. Looks like we're coming up into a uh, little pattern here. I'm gonna take this, take that out of there. Might as well take this garbage out of there too and you know what i'm seeing is kind of like like this here it's like it's it's coiling up a little bit just like the rest of them pier point broken down trend moving sideways probably a low risk entry point in here i like it if you guys want an exploration company big picture view it's it's pulling back a little bit it could pull back a little bit more but you know i i, I don't try if it's cheap and you have a downtrend broken line, you know, a downtrend that's broken. I, d I buy a little bit, especially if we're at support. And we're right at support. So, I mean, I, I would do a little sprinkle if you like pure point. Uh, Deep yellow, I like where it's at right here. Got has some good support underneath it. Uh, it's kind of just chopping sideways. The, the, it doesn't look bad to me. Paladin's another one that I think looks decent. Um, supports underneath it a little ways. I mean, it's got a little, let me back out here. You know, maybe you've got some support underneath it like that. And it's right there on a on a weekly candlestick basis. Looks like we have a bullish engulfing pattern to potentially try to move higher. I mean, if you guys like it, sprinkle in, you know. Here's a Sky Harbor broken down trend. It's just kind of chopping sideways. Next Gen Energy is doing the same thing. We're doing the chop sideways at support. So we're right above support. Can Alaska doing the chop, doing the chop sideways. Uh, like to see the buyers step in here, throwing some big candlesticks. Uh, this is a bullish engulfing here, a little bit of a, a little update today. What I've got is kind of a bounce here, so maybe we'll see a little bounce. <laughs> That's just my guess. Not that it has to do that. Fission uranium or fission 3.0. Move it. We're doing the chop sideways is what we're doing. Small up days today or small down day today. Uh, Fission Uranium Corp. Again, we're just in this little sideways pattern right at support. Grind it on it. Uh, Camco moving sideways. Small little down day today. It's called a bloody nose with the big guy before it. Uh, usually that's a continuation pattern to the upside. Because that Tum Prom still in its downtrend, barely. It was down day to day, but barely a down day. Peninsula Energy still in the downtrend. So that's what we're doing there. Boss Energy, big old bullish engulfing with a flat day to day. I think we're going to probably just kind of eke our way sideways to higher. Uh, Lotus Resources, broken downtrend. Looks like we're coming and kind of pinching up into the corner here for a potential move either up or down just like the rest of the african crew they're doing it too uranium royalty corporation bopping sideways not too much hopefully we can go sideways longer so i can buy in january 
Uh, I do like Uroy. Uh, Encore Energy, a little bit of a pullback, but not much. Uh, looks like we're kind of squeezing up here. We're, we're squeezing up to do something. Uh, UU, UU, not too much of a pattern here. A little update today. Just kind of rocking side, mostly downward, but downward to sideways. Uh, URG, broken downtrend, just kind of bopping sideways still. Uh, usually you go downtrend sideways and then try to break to the upside eventually. UEC is trying to get its sideways movement on, bullish engulfing. Hopefully we can get some, some traction here. LEU, little pattern I drew in here. It looks like it's bopping to the upside, so that's good. We've got LTBR. This one looks pretty strong. Hopefully we can get, get a move on uh, to the upside here. That one probably looks the best of any of the companies that I've seen is this pattern here. And it probably, you could almost draw this here in a, a broken downtrend too, if you wanted. Uh, I, oh wait, yeah, I, I uh, ISO Energies bopping sideways as well. I don't see a strong bottoming. Well, this is a bullish engulfing with a bearish piercing on top of it. It's a battle between the buyers and sellers. Appia Energy. This one looks like it's bottoming to me. I mean, it's it's one bottom, second bottom, and we got big buying pressure. Let's let's hope it can continue. Maybe we get small down days in there. Uh, this guy's bopping sideways. It's finding support right where it's at right here. Uh, good support underneath here. So I would say that, you know, fire it off if you want to, guys. It's up to you. Blue Sky Uranium. A uh, little bit of support underneath it if you look over here. Yeah, it's that support. Form Energy Metals, it's at support as well. I could even pull back down to here and still have support, so it's bopping sideways as well. And Laramide, still in, in a downtrend, moving sideways in the very, very short term. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I wouldn't be buying it down here. I'd wait for this turn. But uh, of, of the group, Lightbridge looks the best, in my opinion. But uh, overall, I mean, it looks like we're just going sideways trying to find some traction to jump off of to move on up. Uh, so it might take a little bit of time, and you know what? That's okay. Uh, we know this sector's cheap. We know all the stuff in the future is good. Um, and I, at some of these spots, I would be, you know, sprinkling in a little bit. That's that's what I would do. And and I'm in it for the long term, guys. This is We have an energy crisis ahead of us in, you know, a year or two, so... I wouldn't be selling anything at any of these prices. I think these prices are all ridiculously cheap. Uh, even even the ones that were up here, like these, that's still cheap. It's all these, all this is cheap uh, on a big long term perspective. So obviously, you want to get the best price you can. That's what everyone wants to do, and that's why I'd cost average in. Whenever it goes down, I try my best and just cost average in. If you guys like the content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.